Hey everyone, Max here. Today we're gonna to unbox, assemble, and test out the Engui EP2 Pro e-bike. Most of the parts are already assembled. You only have to put a few key pieces together and they also give you some tools as well. So let's get started. So that was the assembly done. It was fairly easy. Um, just had to put a few things together. All the tools are there. Didn't have to use no tools whatsoever. They were all supplied in the box. So before we actually test the e-bike out, we're just gonna use it as a normal push bike. Uh, make sure everything's working okay. Make sure the brakes are working. Make sure the seat's locked in tight. I think everything's all good. Shocks are good. Brakes work. The seat's on tight. So I think all we need to do now is just charge up the battery and I can be assisted <laughs> electronically. We're now going to test out the Engway EP2 Pro on some rocky terrain. Let's see how this thing performs. Wow, this thing is a beast. So the Engway EP2 Pro, wow, really cool. Um, handles really well um, on these gravel tracks. You've got front suspension, which is really good. Also, you've got disc brakes. So stopping is like just real simple, real quick. Um, yeah, it handles awesome. So it's good because when you're going up the hills, Obviously on a normal mountain bike you put it in like a low gear, but with this because it's got pedal assist You just choose which um, level you want and It's just like you're on an escalator. You're just going up the hill. It's so easy. It's really really good It's built really well as well. No squeaking. No rattling um, Everything's done up real tight Also too with um, these guards just stops all the the rain from last night all the tiny little rocks just getting all over you now to test it on easier terrain yeah so now <laughs> obviously that was probably putting it to its test on you know a gravel track but we probably won't be doing that much um off-road stuff more just like maybe you know simple sort of tracks and then obviously on the road as well so yeah it's pretty good obviously you can use it in hybrid situations if you want to use it off-road or on-road folds up too which is awesome for us you know we can just put it in the van like a lot of people that travel with bikes they have to have like big bike racks on the side of the van and then you've got to worry about people stealing it or you know locking it up all the time with this we just fold it up and throw it in the van and then off to the next spot how'd you find the fat tires fat tires are good fat tires are perfect good. for this terrain yeah fat tires are really good really grips well especially going around some of them berms there um it's got a little bell oh and also come around the back 
and this is if you're riding at night time but if you look at the, the back rear light oh yeah nice so that's you know that's a real good safety feature um which i thought was really good so yeah obviously when you it's not just a reflector but at night time or when there's low visibility especially if there's cars coming around you or you someone's behind you up close they can tell that you're about to stop so yeah it's it's awesome 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 bike So a couple of the features of this e-bike, if you order it online, it uh, comes in a box and it is 75% already assembled. So there's only a couple of things you have to do and then this bike is ready to go. Um, they also send you some tools, so you don't need no tools whatsoever. And it's basically just to uh, tighten up the handlebars and also the front uh, wheel. And then that's it, you're basically ready to go. So it comes with these two fat tires which is great for its off-road capabilities. Uh, also, it's got front and rear disc brakes. It's got Shimano seven-speed gears. It's got a comfortable seat. It's got a little bag holder at the back here if you wanna strap your bag or anything on the back. Um, but one of the really cool features about this Enway EP2 Pro e-bike is its foldable design. Now, this bike folds from here and also the handlebars fold down. So if you want to store this bike, uh, you can you know, transport it in a boot of a car in the back seat where you can put it in our van very easily. Also, if you want to carry it up some stairs or carry it through like a doorway, um, once it's folded up, it's very easy and versatile to, uh, to store it and also handle it. So that's really, really a really cool feature, I think, with uh, this bike. Now, also, it's got a 750 watt brushless motor. Um, it's powered by a lithium 48 volt battery. You get roughly 120 kilometers in distance on a full charge of battery. It's also got this uh, LED display here, and that shows you which gear you're in and also your speed. So there's three modes that you can uh, use this bike in. You've got the first mode, which is just pedal mode, and that's no help at all electronically from the bike so it's just like a normal bike the second mode is pedal assist mode so when you start pedaling the bike's motor will kick in and it will pedal assist and help you ride and then third mode is throttle mode so there's this throttle here on the handlebar and you don't even have to pedal at all you can literally just turn the throttle and the bike will just go which is really really cool especially if you're lazy so anyway enough of that let's uh Let's test this bike and see what it's capable of. So I've been riding around for almost 23 kilometers and I've still got full battery none of the bars have gone down also my speed when I'm on level 5 which is the the fastest assist mode I get to without pedaling I get to about 25 kilometers an hour and then obviously that's without pedaling that's the fastest it will go um, and then obviously it gets faster as I pedal on top of that so you just want to cruise around say if it's windy you've got a bit of a headwind and you don't feel like pedaling you can just go on throttle mode and you'll yeah essentially get about 25 kilometers an hour and then obviously fast when you're going downhill but so far so good i'm loving it So I've just arrived back. I did 27.6 kilometers. And I tell you what, it was very easy. I didn't even raise a sweat once. Now, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, especially if you want to do some exercise. However, I will tell you this, this bike is very convenient, especially if you want to get around, you know, very easily and, you know, you just want to go sightseeing or if you want to go get some stuff from the shop 
very very easy very convenient so I did both pedal assist and also I just did throttle mode throughout that 27.6 kilometers the battery has gone down only one bar so there's four five bars and we've only we've got four left so that is that's awesome um, sometimes when you're actually riding uh, with the pedal assist on or the throttle mode on you don't realize how much it's helping you ride until you actually turn it off or put it down to gear zero and then straight away you can feel the wind and you can feel the drag and it's definitely a lot harder to uh to ride so yeah it it's amazing like it helps you ride so much easier especially like when you're in the wind um, if you, you know if you don't want to be riding like the whole time in the wind you can just put it on throttle mode and have a bit of a breather have a bit of a break and the bike is still going to be traveling you know reasonably fast so yeah all up really good um, the seat is amazing very very comfortable I've got no qualms about the seat whatsoever compared to other bikes this seat is luxury uh, suspension works good brakes work really well the disc brakes are very intuitive and they uh, work there was a few times there when I was on that ride and I had to brake suddenly and they work really good. Tyres are really good, good for like on-road, off-road, you know, it's a bit of a hybrid sort of bike, very versatile. I think we're going to be using this a fair bit, me and em Emily are going to be fighting over this. <laughs>